everyone and welcome to physical education one session one so today i will going to discuss to you our first lesson for this course which is physical education one or pe one so now let's start so prepare to listen take notes and eyes on the screen Okay, so our first topic for this course, PE1, is all about physical education, a concern for life. So, here we have our goals for this lesson. So, we have four goals for our lesson. So, first is what is physical education so in here we will going to identify the true meaning of physical education second is the objectives of physical education so what is the main goal of physical education so it talks about just that third is physical education in college so it discusses here the services of physical education and the last one is your task of course your different exercises and assessment for this week's session okay so the first question here is what is physical education so in here it is stated that physical education is an integral part of our education system that is designed to promote optimum development which are the person's physical mental emotional social and spiritual development so no physical education is integral part of our education system so integral it means important so a big part so because it is designed to promote optimum development of a person so what do you mean by optimum development so optimum development it means the holistic development or the total development of a person of a or a learner studying physical education so what are these optimum development or holistic aspects of a person so here is it these are the physical mental emotional social and spiritual development so we're going we're going to go deeper to that later on okay next slide we have here the term physical education refers to an important segment of general so physical education pala is very important why because it aims to contribute the total development of a learner through what through participating in selected vigorous activities so it also provides to acquire uh, lifelong skills that are essential to his physical mental social and emotional development so that is it so we should change no our perspective about physical education physical education pala it's not just a uh, moving around doing physical activities no it's not just that it's not just that it also promotes our or develops our holistic so meaning our total development as a person so yun pala yung physical education here we have the republic act number 5708 so in this 5708 it states that an act providing for the promotion and financing of an integral uh, integrated physical development and sports development program for schools in the philippines so what does it mean so um just look at how important is physical education so it has a law 
No, it has laws provided by our government to promote physical education and sports development. So it is very important, no. Um, it's stated on our Republic Act na a school should provide and finance a physical education and sports development programs in the different schools in the Philippines. So that is it. Next is we have the objectives of physical education. So as I mentioned earlier, no, as I mentioned earlier, the um, objectives of physical education. So, a physical education pala, hindi lang uh, truly physical as we defined earlier, no? So, it has different aspects. So, it has, it promotes holistic development. So, we have here first is the um, physical development. So, physical development, so it's very self-explanatory, no? So, physical development, it is physical fitness. So, it talks about physical fitness. So, it relates to physical fitness. So, what is physical fitness? It is the capacity of the, of the body to engage in work and play without undue fatigue. So, meaning, the goal, one of the goals of physical education is to promote or develop your physical aspect. So, physical aspect. It means, no, um, your physical fitness. And next is the mental development, which is your intellectual. So, your focus, no? So, next is your social development. So, social development is participation or cooperating and communicating to other people. And next is emotional development. Your values, your how you handle a certain, your certain emotion. So we have here deeper explanation. So physical education development. So as I said earlier, physical fitness is the main goal of um, physical education. Physical fitness is the capacity of the body to engage in work and play without undue fatigue. So, if pala gumagawa ka ng, ng mga activities or different kinds of work or you play, no, dali raka ka po yun, you're not physically fit pala. Yun pala yun? So, physical fitness is the foremost aim of physical education. So, for you to be physically, uh, for you to um, not experience fatigue, no? Para dilika dali ka po yun. You should be physically fit, no? So, this is achieved through regular exercise and participation in varied, vigorous activities. So, there are certain types of activities. So, we have here the maintenance of physical fitness, the fundamental movement skills, game skills, sports skills, and dance skills. So, yun ang physical development objectives ng PE. Okay, next one is the mental or our um, intellectual aspect as a person, no? So, focus is an acquisition of knowledge and understanding, ability to analyze body movements and skills, evaluate game situations, and make important decisions. So, physical education develops our mental aspect. So, how? It is through focus and understanding and having knowledge. No, so dili man ka physically fit lagi ka, pero di ka kapulog dulag basketball. No, wala kay knowledge about the rules and regulations, how to play, different skills, ba? So dili gyapon, um, dili gyapon siya applicable, ba? Dili gyapon siya magwork. It doesn't work. So, physical education also aims our mental, no? Because we have focus. 
We have knowledge. We have understanding. We have the ability, ability to analyze body movements and skills. For example, if mag-shoot sa bola, dapat inanigid ang position no, sa hands para mag-shoot siya ang ball. So, that's an example. And evaluate game situations, di ba? Especially sa mga coaches or mga games, no? Nga ka na, unsa saan ni mo, maging mga strategies and techniques, unsa saan niyo pagdaog ang isa kadula, ano? So, it uses your mental or your intellectual and make important decisions. So, of course, in different games, in different sports, we make important decisions. Also, in physical um, exercises, we also make important decisions. Okay, next one is Social development. So, what is social? No, it is about yung pakikihalubilo mo sa ibang tao. So, a learner seldom gets into vigorous physical activities by himself, de ba? So, he plays, dances, or exercises with other people. So. In the process, he learns to respect others and practice fair play, sportsmanship, teamwork, and develop leadership. So, it is important pala. So, physical education develops our social development. Through what? Through communicating or socializing with other people. No Social um, development. No, kay dili lang man ikaw magdula, kung magdula kag soccer, di ba? Iwan pwede nga ikaw raisa. Kailangan maka na team. Di ba? You have to have team. For example, pod sa mga individual sports like badminton, no? Dili man ka nga ikaw raisa magdua na may kikalaban. So, that is also socializing. It's part of socializing. So, I mean, socializing. So, when you develop your social development through PE, you learn the game of life. So, the application of the golden rule. Okay, next slide is our emotional development objectives. So, what is this? What is the connection between physical education and our emotional development? No, It's through participating in varied physical activities enables one to acquire pleasant attitudes, desirable habits, and appreciation values. So, our emotional development, it also relates to our values. How we handle ourselves to a certain game. How we handle ourselves to a certain um, exercise plan. No, It enables us to develop our emotional, which are our pleasant attitudes, no, our attitudes, our habits, no, and values. So, it develops just that. So, that is the four objectives of physical education. Okay, so now we proceed to... Okay, so... Physical education requires a substantial budget allocation oftentimes higher than other areas in curriculum so these are the proof how important is physical education in our educational system our educ our education system no so as you can see here physical edu education requires a substantial budget allocation oftentimes higher than other areas in the curriculum it is a fact that essential facilities include a gymnasium outdoor courts and playing fields now as you can observe schools diba nagi gymnasium nagi mga basketball court nagi mga playing fields kanang luagi ng mga fields why is that it's because of physical education so diba it is a proof na Mas dako pagig budget dapat ti allocate ang physical education sa schools, di ba? Because magpatayo pa sila ng gym, magpatayo pag mga courts, mga playing fields, di ba? So several institutions have swimming swimming pools that should be regularly maintained. So unsa yung mga school nga na ay swimming pool? For example, CMU, di ba? Xavier University, sa padiha. No, so 
Ang uban gani no na swimming pool, it's because of physical education pod na na topic sa ano senior high swimming or aquatics sa mga PE majors, de ba? So in addition, an adequate supply of fitness, sports, and gymnastics and dance equipment should be continuously provided for effective instruction. So there is likewise a separate amount allotted for intramural and extramural meets and competition. So de ba? As you can see, how our educational system is naagyo siya masulod gid ang PE. Masulod gid nato ang PE sa sa kada school year yun nato no mga different activities nato especially intramurals di ba by year or ni mga meet international meet regional meet national meet o sa pa ang mga meet diha mga different competition competitions of school to school di ba so di ba as you uh, na realize niyo na PE is an important part of our educational system so that is it. So next is, we have here the physical education in college. So it is um, an explanation of how physical education in college is important. Or nga nung na ay PE ang college, nga college naman kung ano, PE, PE magdudula, pre ko di ay. So inan ha, manta di ba usahay? So, physical education in college. So, we have what we call service physical education. So, it refers to the four subjects given in the first four semesters of college work. Nga naman na siya? Nga nabudgan man PE ang college? Because basic instruction in physical education is prescribed by the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports Order Number 58 Series of 1990. So, naaday na sa law, gihapon. Naaday gihapon na sa batas or order nga magpromote na yung physical education sa Osaka College Institution. Okay, muna siya guys. So, now we proceed to the um, subject titles and the corresponding suggested activities that will be undertaken by all college students. So here are the different subjects taken. You have to take as a college student, not all related to PE or physical education. So we have here the first one is the PE1. So, title ni siya is Physical Fitness. Or karon gitawag na na siya na Movement Competency Training. So, okay, i-update na siya into Movement Competency Training. So, ang PE1, it talks about, so this is the first course in Physical Education. So, it deals with the concept of Physical Education and fitness okay and then it also provides opportunities for physical fitness testing and the student participation in the development maintenance fitness such as aerobics self-testing activities light and heavy apparatus works and freehand and floor exercise so basically or in short so, PE1 talks about all about physical fitness, how you will maintain or how can you develop your physical fitness. No, so, that is it. So, second is physical education 2 or the PE2. So, we have here the rhythmic activities. So, it's all about the rhythm, fundamental Rhythmic activities. So, more on dances ni siya, no? Dance mixers, local and foreign dances, such as social and ballroom dances. So, all about rhythmic activities. So, rhythmic activities, it means mga dances, different kinds of dances. So, third one is the PE3 or the individual and dual sports or games. So, it talks about the 
um, different kinds of recreational activities, um, individual and dual sports like badminton, tennis, ping pong, athletics, oh, so pa diha. And lastly, the PE4, which is the team sport. So it deals with the fundamental and common team sports. Which, what, what are the common team sports like volleyball, basketball, baseball, or softball, and of course, football. So the acquisition also of the basic skills is emphasized. So it talks about also the basic skills. So tuluan mo na sa mga basic skills sa basketball, like dribbling, Shooting, um, passing, receiving. So that are exam. That's, um, that are the example of. Uh, skills or basic skills. Okay. So next one is, we have here the physical educated person. So it is. It states here, what is a physical educated person? So you should take note of this no you should be your this should be your goal at the end of our course no nga mainan hi mga person a physical educated person so number one a physical educated person understands the potential of physical education activities in the attainment of a healthy lifestyle and strives to achieve this goal so ang isa ka physical educated person na ka-understand siya sa importance of PE or the physical education activities. Now, these physical education activities, it helps them or it helps you to have a healthy lifestyle and strive to achieve this goal. No, So, if you are a physical educated person, no, you value PE. As a way to a healthy lifestyle. No, so that is it. So the second is a physical educated person exercises regularly to develop and maintain his weight and physical fitness. So there are a lot of benefits no, of exercise. First is to develop and maintain your weight and also your physical fitness. And there are a lot to no, search din yung daghan kay mga different benefits of exercises. So, physical education, educated person exercises regularly. So, dili lang pasabot ng exercises, meaning mag-stretching ka or uh, mag-push up ka. It's not just that. So, exercises also applies to different household chores like scrubbing the floor, mopping the floor, mang laba, mang hugas. It's an exercise. Or mag-walking, no, mag bakle bakle ka. So that is an example of exercise. So it helps you maintain your weight and develop your physical fitness. Okay, next one. The third one is a physical educated person acquires sufficient skills to enable him to participate actively. In some forms of recreational games and sports. So, it is very important also na a physical educated person na shy skills no, to perform, to participate in the different forms of games, sports, and dances. So, it's, it is very important. On mo no na, participation is very important. Um, ikaduhara ng skills kaduhara ng skills sa PE. Ang importante gid is participation. More gid na siya. And the fourth is a physical educated person eats a balanced diet and practices good eating habits. So so of course sa PE no dili lang pwedeng exercise lang ka per me but you are not doing your diet to, or bal eat balanced diet and practice good eating habits so exercise and diet balanced diet is very important um partner gina sila dili na sila pwede magbuwag no it cannot be separated dili ka pwede sige lang ka exercise pero wala kay balanced diet or sige lang ka 
pa- diet, pero wala kang exercise. For example, if your aim is to be slim or to, or to lose weight, sige lang ka, exercise, exercise, exercise. But the way you practice your eating habits, no, it's wrong. Wala ka nag-balance diet. So, wala lang yapon. Sayang lang yapon ng imuhang effort. Muna siya. And the next is, a physical educated person gets adequate sleep and avoids drugs and stimulants that will negatively affect his total well-being. So, of course, no, a physical educated person value, his body values his holistic development. So, meaning, alagaan niya yung self, like, na siya enough sleep, di siya mag um, abu- abuso sa yung body, no? Ngat ka ng doing negative things to affect your body or your total well-being. So, a physical educated person pala, it's um, taking care of the total well-being. So, isa ka um, physical educated person, kailagaan yung self, give niya value yung self, give niya importance ang yung total well-being. And lastly, a physical educated person enjoys participation in a variety of vigorous activities and recreational pursuits and appreciate good performances in games, sports, and dances. So, pareha raga po na sila dire. No? So, enjoyment po, very important po na mag-participate ka kung sige lang mag-participate no, ma-enjoy ka sa PE. No? Okay, that is it for our Physical Education 1, Session 1, our first topic, the PE, a concern for life. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you learned something from my discussion. So, thank you very much for listening. Bye!